Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Disgaea PC Etna mode LP. Um, so in the off time I've grinded a little bit, got Etna, Hemingway, Ernest up, and got some of the Prinius up too as well. So I figure that should be good enough for us to go into the next uh, area of Narrow Passage. In another location. My legs are getting numb! No! I can't give up now! This must be one of Miss Etna's tests! A space detective has to be able to overcome this! And now that I think about it, assistants don't get to transform and fight and... Ugh. But transforming is the best part! Maybe if I ask Miss Etna, she'll let me transform. Yes, a transforming assistant! It's never been done, but I could be the first! I better hurry and decide on a pose! Ha! Transform! I will protect the peace of the netherworld! Assistant Space Detective, Justice Flan! Love and peace to your heart! This is great! I better practice some more before I forget! Flan! Angel Trainee Flan! I should turn my hands like this, and then I'll do... Flan! Uh, yes? Oh! Who is it? It is I, God! A being even holier than the Seraph. G -g god Oh! Where are you? I'm afraid I cannot reveal myself. But Flan, listen to me very carefully. Is it really God? I've heard this voice before. I know it's hard to believe, but who else would know why you, an angel, are in the netherworld? You have been sent on a mission by the Seraph to assassinate the Overlord. How do you know that? Because I am God. Oh, that does make sense. <laughs> Flan. I will tell you a secret. The demon girl that you met earlier? You mean Miss Etna? Yes, that demon girl, Etna, is the detestable overlord of the netherworld. Huh? What? That can't be true. Miss Etna is a demon, but she is also a space detective. What are you talking about? Are you saying that I... God, am lying to you? No, but... Etna is the demon who is bringing this world into chaos. As God, I command you to eliminate this Etna. Okay. What are you doing? Now go! Yes, sir. <laughs> what an idiot. That demon girl can't possibly be the Overlord. If Flan dies, all will be fine. And if by chance Flan does succeed, I can report to the Seraph that Flan has disobeyed his orders. Which means the mission to eliminate the Overlord will fall to me. Once I succeed, I will be one step closer to becoming the next Seraph. <laughs> Yeah, so Volcanus is a douchebag. Um, okay, so let's see these guys. They're all 05s, zombies, and whatnot. Okay. That uh, doesn't seem too bad. These guys are probably the most annoying, but I should be able to deal with them. Um, I forget what moves I have. Uh, this one will be useful. But it's. It requires me to use 80 uh, SP. Come over here. I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna kill that guy. Ernest. Okay, I got Mega Ice. That. And. Him come. Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Hold on. Yeah, and I have the animations turned off. For no real reason, I just I did 
did, and I forgot that they were turned off when I started the episode. So, I might just go this episode without, um... Without effects. I'm not sure. Depends if I feel like it, really. But it's nice that uh, everyone is at a good level. Because... It's just kind of annoying when you're going through a game and you're just struggling at every single part. <laughs> Simply because, well, I don't want to say simply because this is this is intended to be a new game plus mode, so it should be harder. So I don't, I don't blame anyone for this being difficult, and I don't even want to say difficult in like the worst sense. Like it is very fair. It's just a bit harder than I was expecting, because I was expecting the. Uh, well, I guess these maps in general are just made to be more. Uh, late game friendly, in terms of like having moves that uh, effectively uh, attack. I did 48. Oh well. Uh, you need, need a little bit more. So. Yeah. You can do 5, right? Yeah. Good. Just checking to make sure that everything is going to plan, all according to Keikaku. Keikaku means plan in Japanese. If you don't get that, that's a reference to, uh, one, uh, I forget what show, but there was, like, a, a specific subtitle that said uh, that exact thing. It's like, all according, all according to Keikaku, and then the uh, subtitle specified that Keikaku means plan in Japanese. Yeah. So everything is going good. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to use the... See, printies are nice because even if they die, they only take one hell to uh, uh, to res. So I'm not I'm not too careful with how I use them. The other ones, though, they just they just have so much health and SP that um, that it's annoying to have to do near anything with them. Taking a lot of damage, but they also uh, just don't have a lot of defense because I didn't give them any defensive items. Um, okay, so let's see if I can help get this pretty out. Um, yes, good. So I want him out of there. have anything that hits in that specific way. But I do have enough for this, which will be useful. But that means I can't use any of my other skills. Uh, let's just take a grammar. Um, this turn. 
So most of the maps are probably going to come down to me using Aetna, Ernest, and Hemingway. Simply because the printies, they just die super easy. So 50, 50. Damn, all these guys have ice resist. But he does not. Poison is the most annoying thing. I'm gonna use the health item. Here. Exactly four. So I need to do three. I'm pretty sure I can do. Uh, oh, nice. It's good. It's 109. Okay. Yeah, I bought a lot of the uh, mint gum between uh, between all my grinding and whatnot because I wanted to be able to you know, stay alive. And it's odd because I've never actually like. Sky games. Items have never really been something that I needed to use. They're always just there in case something went wrong. So it it, it honestly feels kind of odd to be like, man, I, I need to use items. Because if I don't, then I'm going to lose. Nope. Oh, how I miss the speed at which you moved in to Sky 5. Here, defend. And you're weak to this. So, put him in the way. That way, if they come, he'll draw the aggro and die. Because I, I have to heal him anyway. So, might as well rest him. Oh, yeah! Six damage down. Okay. Ah, uh, sweet. Now he's not poisoned. Okay. What we're gonna do. Shown this one yet, so I figured it's not the time for it. It's not anything in a melee. Just figured I would. Because I've already, I've already used it in a. Uh, while I was grinding, so it doesn't override the. Uh, the show if. Uh, it doesn't override the show if it hasn't been used prior. I have used it. Um, okay, so, Bob. Uh, you can really see how far the games have come, because I don't know what he's using. I don't. I have to click into him. Uh, he's a rogue, but he doesn't have a gun. He's unequipped fully. 531, 170. Yeah. yeah just, I don't see why he, uh, why he was... Why he was, like, the last guy I had to kill. Seems rather unprepared. Good, bogus spear. Now I'm gonna go res everyone. Yeah. Oh, this music's so good. Oh, blood orb. Awesome. SP, resistance. Super quick. Uh, yeah, I've been giving her, like, the best orbs that I got because I want her to be able to, uh, to use her uh, skills the most. Everyone else is just kind of a, uh, it's just kind of a secondary thing. Uh, yeah. And these guys, yeah, he's still not fully equipped, Carbide. And these guys have barely anything. 
but one interesting thing that I did find out is, uh, uh, I, you have to unlock the ability to, uh, wear shoes and whatnot, and one, uh, one other thing is you can sort of grind for how much influence you want to have going in. So right now it's at 273, and it just dropped down to 147. But th now it's at 302, so I'm going to try and get uh, shoes, but probably won't. Um, yeah. yeah, this one is... The, the crappy thing is when you're trying to unlock things that are, like, pretty damn good, um, it just kind of stinks because most of the time they vote against you. Yeah. I could persuade my force, but I would lose. Uh, one of the biggest strats for, um, for uh, getting through those is if there's like one really high level person that's for you, like said yay, uh, enter the battle, pick up the enemies and throw them onto him, because then he, because uh, it gets rid of the people that were against you and it doesn't aggro him. Um, okay. Uh, and another crappy thing is it doesn't tell you. stats of the equipment you're using, so even though you try it on, you just see how- you just see your new stats, you don't see how much they've gone up. Um, so I used two health items that past map, so I wanna... Yeah, candy's good. Okay. And I'm gonna save, cause saving is just always smart. Okay. Now, to your palace. One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, money, how do I love thee? Let me count the ways. With you to fund my military campaign, I shall become the next overlord. <laughs> now I get it. This ugly castle belongs to Hog Miser. Who's there? Just little old me. You're... Edna? We only met a few times. I'm surprised you remember me. What? I'll never forget! Before the Overlord died, you went on a shopping spree using my credit card! Honestly, that's pretty advanced for the Netherworld to have. Because of you, I almost went bankrupt! Really? That's funny. I don't remember. Don't you dare joke around with me. I'll make you pay for what you've done. That's nice, but you might want to check this out first. You have more troops? <laughs> <laughs> I am the next overlord, Prince Laharl! Dude. <laughs> that voice, those antennae, it's Prince Laharl! I find it funny how it's like, that voice is totally his, too. Yeah! We have the Overlord's son on our side! This guy's an idiot! Now that you know, you better obey us! <laughs> What's so funny? Has your fear driven you insane? Prince Lahal? Why should I obey him? Actually... I'm glad he's here. Once I defeat him, I'll be the next Overlord! I'll squish him like a bug! Huh? You sure sound confident. Honestly, it must be pretty hard to do all those lines while also snorting in between. Defeating like, you words. will teach anyone who opposes the Prince a lesson. For the sake of the Prince, have a spectacular death! Just when I finally found you, you're fighting for power and money. Is Miss Etna really the overlord like God said? If that's true... I mean, if you heard her say stuff, then you should have heard her say that, uh... Oh, God, you're all at level 8? Oh my God, what is with 
attacks plus one boost. Okay. So these guys are just good for healing these guys. 50, zero, enemy boost. Attack plus one. Ugh. Ick, I hate these. So key is probably killing these guys. Really quick, like trying to do it in one turn type thing. So I'm gonna start off with ice. Try that. Try this. Actually. I'm gonna try and get rid of this guy. If I'm able to do that, then uh, uh, then okay. okay. I'm just I'm just figuring things out in my brain. Um, anyway, see, I'm worried about the enemy boost. There's no lifting on the tile because they don't want to uh, cheese out this fight. I guess I'll attack you. someone here, and while they won't get the boost, they will still get an attack plus one, which is honestly pretty good. Stinks, because uh, whereas in like Disgaea Five, the uh, the um, I'm trying to think of the words. Like the worlds were small in Disgaea Five; they weren't uh, big. And when I say worlds, I mean the islands that uh, uh that. weren't very large islands. They were quite small. What? Why didn't... Oh yeah, some things don't... That's annoying. Okay. Well, let's take him out. Oh, are you serious? Ick. 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 Take out Ariel. Take out the zombies because they're one of the bigger parts. The poison, man. It's just so annoying. I'll just attack with this. Get him out of it. Okay, let's... Oh, magic boost. Okay, that's not bad. I can use it on myself. I don't want to use it right now. Where are your elemental enemies? Yes! Awesome! Okay, so when I'm gonna go finally, like, hurt him, I'm going to, uh... I'm going to definitely, uh... I'm going to int up. So I just need to kill these zombies fast enough. Uh, 
her to heal them, because she heals twice, essentially, which is unfortunate. Okay, so enfeebling me. What is enfeebling? Turn there. Okay, so I'm just trying to add him. I'm gonna put him up here. And that does it twice. So I'm not sure if it stacks. I hope it does. Okay, it does quite a bit of damage. Half his health in one turn. I'm just hoping. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move him over here. That way he's out of his range. And uh, because uh, Ernest is the biggest damage dealer on my party right now, due to his uh, ice range. Good, I'm still hit him there. I probably need about. One more... Good. Good. I don't think skills would work. Because I don't want to use Asteroid Plunge because it's an AoE attack and those are usually... Um, those are usually more for... Uh, people so their damage isn't all that good. Okay, so one more turn and he's done. So, I don't think there's any way in which I could actually lose this. So you're at 531. Okay, that's, that's a way in which I could lose this. Space. That way he doesn't get attacked next turn. Oh, he's not watching my SP. I'm gonna actually move her backwards. And... Are you serious? Go over here. Throw him back this direction. So can hit him with ice. God, that's... See, it's 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 odd because he didn't stay aggroed like I thought he would. Okay. You sure don't have a lot of power to back up your big mouth. All right, pretty squad, steal everything that looks valuable. You, you can't. I won't be able to survive without my money. This might not be the best time to tell you this, but I really don't care whether you starve to death or not. How horrible! Is she really a space detective? She can't be! Space detectives help the weak and protect the innocent! And they have a strong belief in justice! But... Hey... Wait, you bully! <laughs> Porkmeister? Don't take all of Father's hard-earned money! Don't you talk to me like that! Want to be beaten down like your father or something? You talk back to me again and I'll kill ya! 
Hog Miser. Yes. Your son's got guts, unlike you. Uh, you think so too? I'm very proud of him. I could use a kid like him. What? Pretty Squad, tie this kid up and take him away. Aye, aye, dude. I won't split you two apart. Really? You're so kind. Don't thank me yet. I'm gonna use both of you as slaves for life. Ah, you horrible, horrible demon! Hey, that's what you get for stealing the king's portrait. Ah, oh, sweet, got hug myself. There's no doubt now. God told me the truth. Miss Etna claims to be a space detective, but she's really just an evil overlord. And I was almost fooled into becoming her assistant. There's only one thing left to do. For God and the Seraph, I must fight Miss Etna. I'll teach her what a space detective should be. Okay. Now, I'm not sure how long this is. I thought it was only like three episodes, but I'm not sure. It's time for Etna's Q&A Corner. Don't forget, Blonde is here too. I'm taking this time out of my busy schedule to answer your letters. And you have to answer all the questions. All right, let's take this first letter and make it into a paper airplane. You can't do that. Here, let me read a letter. This one is from a six-year-old girl from Earth. I got into a fight with my friend, but I want us to be friends again. What should I do? You're a nice girl. Don't worry. If you apologize, you'll be friends again in no time. You're way too optimistic, Blonde. It kind of makes me want to hurl. A prinny. If everyone could get along just by apologizing, we wouldn't need cops. Then what do you think she should do? If you were a real man, you'd let your fists resolve your issues. But she's a girl. Fine, slap each other for all I care. Violence doesn't resolve anything. Well, getting into arguments is pretty normal for friends, so they should be fine. You didn't help at all. Okay then, I'll be waiting for more of your letters. Goodbye. Huh. Nothing gets settled around here, does it? Yeah, save. God, that <laughs> it has taken me so much time to. Nope. This one. Let's just get to chapter three. <laughs> Ooh, I'm hungry. I want some spicy volcano soup. Master Etna, that angel is gone, dude. Who cares? That was kind of the point. Man, I want that soup. Hey, Prinny, whip some up. You got three minutes. But that's impossible, dude! Fine. I'll give you one whole minute then. It just got shorter, dude! Besides, we don't have the ingredients. Volcanic meat can only be found at the Sea of Gehenna, dude! Hey, I know. Why don't you go to the Sea of Gehenna and steal the ingredients? That place is burning hot! And there's a lot of powerful monsters, dude! So? <laughs> that's why I've been asking to have leftovers for breakfast, dude. I said, I want some spicy volcano soup. That scorching magma flavor has a divine aroma that stirs your hunger. And every time you bite into the ground human soul, the flavor just bursts in your mouth. And the collaboration between the exotic monster meat and the magma spices is, well, simply put, the ultimate combo. It's like Kilia is here right now. Like, holy shit. That's what makes you. Volcano Soup the best. And I need some right now! Let's make some Volcano, volcano Soup, or vo Spicy Volcano Soup Curry. That's it. I've decided. We're going to the Sea of Gehenna. Ugh. Volcano Soup is calling for me. Okay. Finale, Chronicles of Etnarnia. Okay, so we are at the uh, finale, uh, which is nice because 
I, I make the thumbnails for my uh, video series before I actually record them for the most part. I just try and guesstimate. And I only have 10 thumbnails for uh, any mode. I could make more, but I'm trying to use less. So uh, with that, I'm going to end this episode here. And in, in, uh, in the next episode, we will do the first battle or more of the uh, finale episode. So, hope you all have a very nice day.